Kamusta mga kabayan? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Anne, aka Girl Chasing Sunshine, your Pinay girl here in New Zealand. I make videos about my life here as a Filipino migrant who started with just, just a working, working holiday, holiday visa. visa. Kaya naman, if you're interested to know how to migrate, how to live, and how to work here in New Zealand, then please consider subscribing to our channel. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Girl Chasing Sunshine. Diba? And I'm sure narinig nyo na to, age does not matter daw when it comes to love. Talaga ba? Agree na kayo doon mga kabayan? Eh kung sa immigration kaya, does age matter when it comes to planning to migrate abroad, particularly here to New Zealand? Yan ang topic natin for today mga kabayan. Ang pag-uusapan natin ay edad or age. Ever since I shared my experience in getting a New Zealand working holiday visa, marami sa inyo, as in marami talaga, marami nag-PPM, marami nag-comment, marami sa inyong tanong, meron daw bang age requirement? Meron daw bang age limit? Ilang beses ka na pong nasagot yan sa iba't iba nating videos, but I suggest itong video na to yung panoorin ninyo kasi diniscuss ko po dyan yung eligibility requirements, including yung age requirements ng New Zealand working holiday visa. But short answer, Answer mga kabayan, yes, meron pong age limit ang working holiday visa para sa ating mga Pinoy. The maximum age to apply is 30 years old. Marami sa inyo kapag nalalaman nyo itong age limit na to, you get disappointed, nangihina yung loob ninyo, thinking na wala na kayong pag-asa or chance na makapunta pa dito sa New Zealand. Kabayan, stop please. Stop right now. Thank you very much, Char. Um, life does not stop at 30. Immigration does not stop at 30. In fact, depending kung ano yung job background ninyo, baka nga malaki pa ang chance ninyong makapunta dito sa New Zealand. So, yan ang i-discuss natin for today. Does age matter when it comes to immigrating here to New Zealand? And if so, what is the best age to migrate? At ano yung iba't iba yung visa options in different age or life stages? So, without further satsat, let's start with the video. Disclaimer muna, what I will discuss here is based on my personal experience, my own opinion, and it's also based on information and research that I have gathered through the Immigration New Zealand website and through immigration stories that I know. I always encourage everyone to double check and verify information with the Immigration New Zealand website. This is not in any way professional advice. This is just my personal opinion. Sabi nga ni Madam Zelaya Sefa, hindi ko po hawak ang inyong kapalaran. Gabay lamang kung sasabihin ko. Meron kayong free will, gamitin niya ang kabayan. Let's start right away with what all of you are dying to know. Meron bang age limit para makapunta ng New Zealand? Sasagutin ko agad yan dahil malakas kayo sa akin. Wala pong age limit for visitor and student visas. Wala ring age limit for partnership-based work and residency visas. And most importantly, most work visa options are available to applicants of any age. Meaning, wala pong age limit for most work visa options. If you go to the Immigration New Zealand website and you check out the pages of these temporary class visas, makikita nyo po na sa eligibility requirements, wala doon sa listahan ang age or edad. So yes, mga kabayan, hanggat kaya ng katawang lupa ninyo na kumayod, go, push, may pag-asa pa po kayo makapunta ng New Zealand. However, ito na yan mga kabayan, However, if your end goal is to become a resident here in New Zealand, which I think yun naman ang ultimate goal nating lahat, di ba? If that is your goal, then I must tell you, yes, age does matter. Specifically, if you are planning to apply for residency via the Skilled Migrant category or yung SMC, which is New Zealand's points-based residency system. In this residency program, mga kabayan, age accounts for a maximum of 30 points. You get the maximum 30 points if you apply via SMC between the age 20 to 39 years old. You start to lose valuable points after 39 years of age. And although, meron ka pa namang makiklaim na points beyond 39, may bawas na siya. There is an age limit under the skilled migrant category. You should not be more than 55 years old. If you are already more than 55 years old, then you should already consider other visa options, such as kung meron kayong supporting partner, pwedeng 
partnership-based residency visa or kung marami naman kayong pera or may budget kayo, pwede nyo rin tingnan yung business or investor visa. Now, if you are below 30 years old and the world is yours for the taking kabayan, I have a very strong advice for you, especially if you are someone na kailangang magsariling sikap, meaning wala kang supporting partner or relatives na nandito sa New Zealand na pwedeng makatulong sa'yo, and you need to continue to pay the bills and live life. What I will say next is a bold statement. Heads up mga kabayan ha, pasintabi po. Pero again, this is just my personal opinion. Kung ako lang naman yung tatanong, Ako lang to, okay, mag-alala. In my opinion, if you are below 30 years of age, you should not consider the student visa pathway going here to New Zealand. You should not let it be your first option. Again, uulitin ko ha, kung below 30 po kayo, wag kayong mag-student visa. Wag muna kayong mag-student visa. Yes, bold statement I'm making here, no? Sana wag kayong mag-unsubscribe, mga kabayan. Let me explain myself first. At below 30 years of age, you are at the peak or the prime of your life, kung baga kabayan. You are bringing with you so much energy so many fresh ideas, experience, qualification, and most importantly, value to New Zealand's labor market. Kung baga, fresh na fresh ka pa ka bayan. <laughs> yan ang gusto nila, yan ang bet nila, kaya sobrang laki ng chance mo na makapunta dito sa New Zealand. Freshness ang labanan! So, make good use of what you can offer, think strategically, maximize your strengths, and stretch your finances as much as possible. If you resort to getting a student visa without considering your other options first, remember Remember that unang una sobrang laking financial investment po ng student visa pathway. Uunahan nakita kabayan, mahal mag student visa. For this reason and this reason alone, ako personally hindi talaga ako mag student visa kasi hindi ko naman afford no. Second, you will spend a year or two studying and although you get um, a few hours each week to work, minimal lang to and usually yung mga nakukuhang jobs while on a student visa, those are not skilled jobs that can count towards your skilled work experience that you can claim points for when you apply for residency via SMC. Third, and most importantly, there is no guarantee that you will be eligible for residency even if you study here. That's not saying I'm super against the student visa pathway, ah. I'm just saying, kung below 30 years old ka, then check out other options first. Don't let the student visa be your first option. Kung above 30 years old ka na, then ibang usapan na yun, syempre. Let's consider all options. Pero kung passion mo talagang mag-aral, to get higher education, and you have the money and the means naman to do so, then by all means, push! Push tayo sa student visa. Go for it, kabayan. In the end, your life, your choices. So ngayon, if you ask me, kung hindi student visa, what are your options to be able to migrate to New Zealand kung below 30 years old ka? If you have a job that is in demand here in New Zealand, your first option is to get a work visa. Ahan, paano ko makukuha yung work visa na yan? Simply by finding an employer that would be willing to support your visa application. It's not rare mga kabayan, lalo na kung in demand yung trabaho mo dito sa New Zealand and nahihirapan si lang makakuha ng Kiwi or New Zealander na gagawa ng trabaho yon Kahit nasa Pilipinas ka pa lang or nasa ibang bansa ka, wala ka dito sa New Zealand, employers will notice you. In an ideal situation na kung bukas na ulit yung temporary offshore visa applications. In fact, employers will even offer you a relocation package just to get you to New Zealand kung in demand ang trabaho mo. Ngayon, tatanungin nyo na naman ako, Ann, paano ko malalaman kung in demand yung trabaho ko? Do your research mga kabayan. Check out New Zealand job portals or pwede nyo rin panoorin yung video series natin on finding work and applying for jobs here in New Zealand. Ayan, nandiyan yung video. Now, if your job is not in demand, then you can consider the working holiday visa. This is the visa that I had when I first migrated to New Zealand back in 2018. Just 16 months after arriving in New Zealand with that visa, I became a New Zealand resident. Kwento ko yung aking immigration story sa video na to. So, sana mapanood ninyo. What are the advantages of getting a working holiday visa? Well, una, you get one year to work, study, 
study and travel around New Zealand. You can use this time as a stepping stone to try and find work that would allow you to convert into a longer term work visa or maybe use this time to check out and see for yourself what New Zealand has to offer. If you feel mo kung gusto bang tumira dito permanently. Another reason is that hindi siya magastos na visa option. I think ha, this is one of the cheapest visa options for you to migrate here to New Zealand. Kung gusto niyo malaman kung magkano yung nagastos ko noon nung nag-working holiday visa ko, pwede niyong panoorin tong video na to. Because of the reasons I've just mentioned, kung hindi man mag-work out for you yung one-year working holiday visa, then hindi siya ganun ka, paano ba? Hindi siya ganun kasakit siguro. And since bata ka pa relatively, you still have the option of trying out other visa pathways such as the student visa. Now, I'm sure some of you will say, Ahan! Sobrang competitive! Makakuha ng working holiday visa! Limited yung slots! Tapos unahan pa! Well, the beauty of it, Kabayan, is that kung below 30 years old ka, you have at least two more chances or two years to try and get a working holiday visa slot. Kung mas bata ka pa, more, more chances, chances of winning. winning! I guess what I'm trying to say here is explore other options. Nasabi ko na to dun sa ating dreams video, explore other options before going for a visa pathway that requires more money, more time, and more effort. Again, just to reiterate mga kabayan, hindi po ako again sa student visa. Ang sa akin lang, be strategic with your plans. If you are in that optimum age range that would allow you to explore various visa options, then make the most out of it. Gamitin na ng freshness sa YCOA. YCOA. Ngayon, kung more than 30 years old na kayo and hindi ganun kay in demand, yung work ninyo dito sa New Zealand for an employer to support your visa application or kung mag-30 na kayo and na try nyo lang mag-working holiday pero hindi pa rin talaga nag-work out, then you can start considering other visa options na, such as the student visa pathway. But if you're young, wild, and free, my advice to you, Kabayan, is be brave. Maging matapang ka. You have a lot of time. You have many years ahead of you. You can use that time to try, make mistakes, try again, make mistakes again, and then try again. Yun lang yung cycle. Age of exploration and discovery, kung baga. With all of that said, ano nga ba ang best age to migrate here to New Zealand? Well, I cannot put it into a one-size-fits-all na age kasi tulad nga ng lagi kong sinasabi, kanya-kanya tayo ng journey. We all have different background, scenario, and we're living different lives. So I say, the best age depends on you, kabayan. When it feels right for you, when you feel you're ready, actually, minsan nga kahit hindi ka pa ready, pero ramdam mo na sa puso mo na parang may bumubulong, may sumisigaw na, go! Push mo na yan, girl! When it feels right in your heart, follow that voice, follow that dream, that's the best age that's the best time to do it. Sana nakatulong kahit pa paano ang video na to and nasagot na mga nagtatanong may age requirement po ba? May age limit po ba? Ito na ang sagot mga kabayan. If you find this video helpful, give it a like, ishare nyo na rin, and kung meron kayong mga tanong pa, just leave a comment below. I try to reply to as many comments as possible, so kwentuhan tayo sa comment section, okay? Kung hindi pa kayo nakasubscribe, make sure you click the subscribe button and yung katabing notification bell para updated kayo lagi kung mayroon akong bagong videos. Salamat! Thank you, Kiora, for watching! See you in my next video!